Hello, hello, it's Kerry from The Soap Coach and today I'm going to be talking to you about email lists. Now, I know this is probably a bit of a swear word for some of you. Um, having spoken to a lot of people who resist the idea of having an email list, um, but there's some really, really good reasons why you need to have one. Um, so I'm here to persuade you on that, that point. Uh, and we're talking soap and skincare businesses here, but we're talking any small business, really. It doesn't matter whether you sell candles, whether you are, um, I don't know, sell dog food, whatever you're selling, you need to have an email list. Um, many small businesses try to run their, their marketing on social media. So by that, I would mean primarily Facebook and Instagram. Um, and they will be more interested in the number of followers they have than anything else and use that as a benchmark to how well they're doing. And my point here is running your um, marketing and growing your audience on social media is really, really risky. Um, it's unreliable and emails are a much safer and more profitable bet. And you're missing a trick if you don't have one. Um, five good reasons then. So social media, you're not reliant on it if you've got an email list. It's a really complicated algorithm. We never really know what we're meant to be doing to be shown up to more people. Um, we're told 10 different things by 10 different people or 10 different experts on social media. Um, reach has definitely been going down over the last two or three years. Um, I suspect that is probably because of the sheer volume of content on there. Um, if we're spending an, an hour a day looking at some social media and there's 20 times more stuff on there now than there was two years ago, then it stands to reason that we're going to be seeing less of the things that we might want to be seeing. Um, there's also a pressure to show up, which I don't know about you, I feel that I feel it quite keenly, quite stressed sometimes about the need to be on social media. Even if you're having a bad day, um, you don't have to be. You don't just don't do it. Please don't do it. Um, reduced reach, we've talked about that. Trends, trends. If you love social media and you love doing all the trending reels and everything else and the new things they keep bringing out, brilliant, do it. But most of the women that I work with, and I say women because I work primarily with women, they don't want to do all that. There may be a slightly older generation, so it's all a bit of a struggle. Um, so, yeah, it's trends. It's, it's not good either. And also, there's always the risk of being hacked or closed down by Facebook, Instagram or, or TikTok, whatever platform of choice you have. So that's one reason to have an email list over a social media campaign. Um, second one, number two, the percent of people who open your emails in comparison to the percent of your followers who see your posts is massive. Now, to put that into perspective, um, the dog and I, so my dog and I put up based account, my last email I sent out had an, an open rate of over 63%, which is really high. Um, but even if you don't reach that level, and I don't always reach that level, you can generally, as long as you, your content is relevant and you're interesting and you're not being salesy, 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 you'll generally have an open rate of 25 to 40% which is great. That's, that's quite normal. Um, in contrast to that, my last dog and I social media post, and I've written the figures down because I never forget, I never remember them otherwise, reached less than 4% of my followers. And that's reached, didn't even mean that they particularly read it, but it reached their accounts. Um, and that's about average now. So it's gone down massively. Um, so that's number two reason why emails are better than um, social media. Number three, if you're relying on social media, you have no idea if your followers are actually your customers. Um, quite often, I would suggest they are other soap businesses or other small businesses who have followed you in order to be supportive of you, but are never going to buy from you. So again, putting that into perspective, if 4% of your followers have seen your social media post, what percentage of those are actually your ideal customer? I, can, I would suggest it's very small. Um, number four, having an email list means that you get the chance to talk directly to your um, audience or people that are signed up for it. Um, and it's, it's an overused term, but no like and trust factor is 
is a real thing. <laughs> um, we do buy from people who we tend to know, like and trust. Um, and often that will start with you sharing your story, how you got into doing what you're doing, sharing day to day little snippets of what's going on in your world. Um, and then giving updates of what's happening in the business, special offers, that kind of thing. So you can see how it grows. Um, your emails don't have to be salesy at all. Mine, mine aren't. So in both my businesses, I'm, I will share some general chit-chat about what's going on in my life. Um, quite often it's quite random, but people seem to like that. And I do get a lot, a lot of positive feedback about it. Um, so number five, having an email list means you'll stay top of mind with your potential customers. Um, we are really busy people and more often than not, if we don't hear or see from a business or a person for a while, we, we will forget about them, unfortunately. Out of sight, out, out of mind is a big, it's, it's, it's true. Um, so sending out an email, even if it's just once a month, even if they don't want anything at that time, will remind them of your existence, keep them updated in your world um, and keep you in the loop for future, purchase, uh, future purchases. So that's my five reasons. Um, so just a quick re recap on that. Um, social media, you can't guarantee that people will see your posts due to the algorithm, trends, etc. cetera. Um, percent of people who open your emails is much higher than the reach that you will get on social media. That's number two. Number three, you don't know if your social media followers are actually your customers. Are they other businesses who are supporting you? They might even be your competition. Number four, Email will give you the real opportunity to build that know, like, and trust factor. You can do a bit of that on social media, don't get me wrong, but it's much harder because people are less likely to see what you're doing. Um, and number five, staying top of mind. If you're getting an email into your, e your inbox, then that's a, a, much more, a much stronger reminder that you exist. Um, I, this is not a tech lesson on how to, do, how to set up an email sort of responder system or anything like that at all. Um, generally, I would suggest that you have a system in place where you have a, a CRM system which is connected to your website so that it, when somebody buys something, it adds to them to your email list, but it also has what's called a landing page, which pe you can share the link to and people can log in, uh, sort of so pop their details in and it will add them to your list as well. Um, and it also means that you're compliant with, um, it's not GDPR here in the UK anymore, it's um, data data protection I can't remember now um, but it means you'll be compliant with that as well and it also gives people the chance to unsubscribe which they have to be able to do so at the time of recording this I still would recommend MailerLite which is the one I use it's free for up to 1,000 subscribers um, it connects with Shopify and various other e-commerce websites and it's fairly easy to use it's fairly intuitive um, and yeah, it's, it's the one, there's probably others out there. I just don't have experience of them really. And that's not what this video is about. Anyway, hope that has helped convince you just a little bit maybe to have a look at setting up an email list. Um, if you manage to do it and you get good results, do let me know because feedback's brilliant. And otherwise, just make sure that you subscribe to this because if you subscribe to me, I can give you more hints and tips um, and help you out. Thank you very much.